here. Also, I have all this white stuff all over my face. So let me like fix that real quick. I've been reacting to German content for the last four years out of pure fascination and even promised that I would travel there and see and experience everything I reacted to online. Well, guys, I finally made it. Yo, we're on the way to Germany, dude. Dude, finally made it. This guy. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, we're actually heading to Cologne right now and everything. Uh, there's a lot we got planned. I got to drop this demon of a bag off in my hotel. And then uh, I guess we're just going around and doing stuff. Man. Dude, so we're on the train to Cologne from Frankfurt. This is like the view, obviously. This looks, you know, just like GeoGuessr, man. Except nothing censored here, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I can finally see all the stuff that was being blurred out on GeoGuessr, man. I forgot to mention this earlier, but the train is, like, super insulated. Like, I'm not sure if you guys can hear. You can't, because obviously it's so insulated, you can't hear what's happening outside. My God, that's cr what the fuck? Dude, it looks like like a like a Photoshop kind of thing. Look, what, what the heck? I can't believe this, bro. It's this is incredible. It's so massive, and I, I, the details are so finite and shit. Like, dude, I'm mind blown. I, I'm, I'm at a loss of words. I want to say so much right now, but like, I'm the, oh. and look at the the dome in the distance. It looks like a dragon almost, man. It's insane. It's like if they redid the Game of Thrones villages and stuff. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, like my first experience on the train was incredible. It felt like taking a train anywhere else, except A, the scenery was different, B, it's really quiet, like super quiet, and C, C like it was a lot smaller, and it, I don't know, like it, it felt nicer, man. It just felt nice. All right, so now we're about to head up this uh, donor spot and stuff. It's allegedly the best spot in, in Cone. Yeah, recommended by uh, a really good friend of mine. So we're about to try this out and stuff. I'm excited. I've never had Duna cup, uh, Duna before. I've made my, my own Duna. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? I've had fake Duna before. I've tried to like summon some Duna from like, you know, the dark spirits of the past. Didn't work. So we we're, we're actually here. I think, right? Is it like right down the road? Yeah, it's a little bit of a ways up, but hopefully it tastes good and you guys get to experience that. This is pretty much what they got like laid out and everything. They got the fucking, like, that's the spread. And it's like a better version of Chipotle. Like, this is super authentic. I don't know what that is, but it looks good. I'm doing it with Alice Inchen. Yeah, Miss Alice Inchen. My Deutsch is slick, bro. So this is... This is the real deal. So let's let like, I'll, I'll show you guys what this looks like, man. Beautiful. This is what an actual dinner kebab looks like. And I'm about to try this for the first time, dude. Crazy, crazy. My first bite. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna do another bite. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fucking good. Oh my god. First of all, it's chicken, three different types of sauce, um, cabbage, tomatoes, lettuce, peppers, Onion. onions, dude. Like, look at that shit. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Wait, how big is your dog? Do you? <laughs> Oh, almost gone. This is good. Oh my fucking God. This is the best thing I've ever tasted. No exaggeration. But it's also very like natural ingredients too. This is all like legit vegetables and stuff, like not processed food, you know? It's good as fuck. 
Oh, no. This is fucking delicious, dude. Get some ASMR for you right there. I didn't realize this was like this big though. It's pretty decent. Like my hand's kind of big, and like there's still like there's 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 some weight to this, man. And this was like what per per dinner? It was like what six bucks? Yes. Yeah, it was like six bucks per uh, per dinner. I saw like Reddit campaigns, like uh, <laughs> when when the the price of the dinner went up. Yeah. People on Reddit were going crazy. They're like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> I've never had Messel Mix either. Also, I have all this white stuff all over my face. Let me like fix that real quick. Yeah, I've never had Messel Mix before. I've had the Spetsy. So I heard like um, Passport 2 rated this and they said it was okay. But anyways, I'm about to try this myself. This is the first time I've ever tried Messel Mix, dude. So hold on. Oh my God. My palate's confused. Cause it tastes like orange soda and Coca-Cola, like an even split. Like my body doesn't know like what, what flavor this, this is, man. It tastes really good, it's super sweet. This is fire. This is fire, dude, fire. Oh my gosh. I'm crying right now, dude. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you guys are so lucky, man. You, get, you guys live next to like donor places like this, bro? Like, I'm jealous. I'm jealous, like I, that's, uh, I'm jealous. <laughs> you might wonder, like, bro, like, what's he crying about? Like, this is fucking dead. <laughs> the chicken's so crispy, man. It's like crispy and juicy. And then the sauce is mixed in. It's not too much. Like, I can barely taste the sauces. Like, they put a really good mix of it in here. They made it so effortlessly, too, man. It's good as fuck. This is like the perfect palate combination. That's why you guys talk about it so much. This shit is fire. Dude, fuck a curry verse, dude. This shit is gas. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure curry verse tastes good too, though, obviously, right? If you had to pick between the two, would it be dinner? Yeah, easy. There's so much more with this, man. Dude, I have purple sauce. <laughs> purple. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so fucking good, dude. I have to use like, the napkins really quick. It feels refreshing too. I don't feel like I just ate a disgusting, like s nasty, greasy sandwich. I this feels healthy, dude. I could see myself eating this all the time, man. I mean, maybe not all the time, actually all the time. Yeah, this is fucking good. Once a, at least, bro, like it tastes so fucking good. Like I can't replicate that. Looking back at all the attempts I tried to make, making dinner, disgrace. This shit is legit, dude. Listen, if you have never had this before, you need to eat this, bro. Like, oh my God, you have to eat this. If you live your life not knowing what dinner tastes like, come on, man, save up some money, fly to Germany, and like, just try that, and then, you know, you can die peacefully, because this, this is so fucking good. <laughs> this is so good. And the meso mix is also fire, too. I'm still confused, because this, this tastes like orange soda and Coca-Cola. I'm like, I'm fucked up thinking about this right now, man. I'm so confused. Like, it tastes like Coca-Cola while you're drinking it, but then the aftertaste is like orange soda. And then it's like the very beginning and the very end is orange soda, but in the middle of it is like Coca-Cola, man. It's weird, I can't really like, it, it's like Coca-Cola coated in Fanta, like orange Fanta, if that makes sense. So we're about to head to the Kulna Dome, climb to the top, get some nice shots of like what it looks like and stuff, man. I literally can't believe I'm out here right now. This is like insane. Doesn't even feel real, bro. But with the homies, we're, we're all about to go up there, take the, the long plunge to the top to see like the view that everybody's been talking about uh, at the Kulna Dome. Um, the inside's super cool. Apparently I can film there, but I have to be very quiet. I have a loud voice, so I have to be super, 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 super quiet. took a group picture with some people and stuff like that, like some some of you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like the subby sub stubs. Um, about to go up here. We're inside the Golden Dome, dude. Oh my God. This is so cool, bro. This is so detailed.
so we're about to climb to the top now. Uh, they said we have to make two lefts around this building to get to the top of the Kona Dome. And I'm hyped, so we're gonna find the outside of this building and check this out, man. This right here, this is the dome term. This is under, man. This is the catacombs of like the dome, man, which is insane. Look at this. We're about to climb this thing to the tippy top. Look at this. This is insane. Insane. So we're starting to walk up to the top, man. Uh, apparently it's 1,400 meters tall. But we got to do this thing, man. This is this is gonna be insane. It's like the ultimate stairmaster workout, bro. Uh, look at the stairs. This is the entrance. Holy shit! It's gonna be intense. Let's go. Let's go. I've been waiting on this all my fucking life. Let's go. All right, here we go. This is the where the bell tower is. Oh yeah. Look at this. It's super like narrow in here. It's super narrow. Let's go. Bro, look at this. This is crazy. And look how tall, look how high we are. We're only halfway up the the, the, the Kona Dome, bro. Yeah, we're only halfway there. They they, they, they said I was crying, bro. They didn't want to do this uh, Kona Dome walk, bro. Like, can we do something else, please? So we're gonna go to the top of this of this thing. We're going to the top, bro. No matter what. This is the top of the dome, man. Uh, when they say off the top of the dome, this is what it is, man. The top of the dome. Let's walk around. It was a journey to get up here. This is the very top floor of the dome. They said I couldn't do it. They don't know who they're messing with, man. Let's go. You can kind of see through here what we're working with. It's insane. So we still got another set of stairs to go up. We're at the very top of the Kona Dome, bro. <laughs> about to do some selfies up here. Bro, look how tall it is. What the fuck? Bro, look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh my God. Look how high we are. This is insane. What the fuck? This is insane, insane. <laughs> Damn. This was worth it, man. My first day in Germany was absolutely insane. I mean, we tried uh, Duna Kebab. I saw the, the cathedral, which was nuts. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in person. That was incredible. Walking up the stairs of the cathedral, let me tell you, for me, was way easier than I thought. It is a bit of a challenge, but what was funny is as we went up the cathedral, people were getting tired. People were falling out on the stairs and stuff. They're like, oh no, we can't. At the halfway point, people were turning around and going back downstairs because they couldn't go all the way to the top so I was really proud of myself for finishing that out finally like a lot of the other smaller experiences like taking the train and stuff like that in Germany versus taking the train in South Korea or even the United States was huge giant culture shock uh, the one bit major thing I noticed with the people when I got into uh, Germany is there's a system for everything it was very controlled very controlled uh, people were very respectful of other people no one was in anyone else's way and and I look forward to showing you all of the other brand new experiences I finally got to have for myself in Germany because reacting to it's one thing that got my fascination but now I got to actually experience what you guys have been telling me for years thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe because the next video is gonna be even crazier peace